leaders of digitalization and services directions are Chief Information Officer Chris Henley and Chief Administrative Officer of School of Engineering and Digital Sciences Tokjan Nurmagambetova. I play the role of the coordinator. The goal of our direction is to bring up solutions that will improve business processes, save time and budget for the university. Most of the projects of the digitalization and services directions are related to IT, namely software solutions, and therefore we involve people from different departments and schools, including School of Engineering and Digital Sciences and IT. At different stages, starting from analysis and consultation, finishing with implementation and going live. In recent years, the various structures of the university has been revised. This affected schools, such as School of Engineering and Digital Sciences, as well as other departments, including IT. In 2020, information services were created, which met current needs of the university to support IT infrastructure and information systems of the university, as well as meeting the strategic goals, such as academic excellence and research excellence. As an example, information services is now playing a big role in research direction by supporting high-performance computing clusters and AI infrastructure, and also providing services for a new research community. The work that Information Services is doing on a daily basis is the part of a digitalization program of the university. As a part of a transformation project, our group plans to implement solutions for mass use at the university, so they are low cost and quickly implemented. On a daily basis, we receive many requests. And when we choose projects, our approach is following. Number one, we choose projects which we know can succeed. Number two, the duration of the project maximum is three months. And number three is each project must simplify or speed up process and increase user satisfaction. Due to the fact that the development of a software solution requires involvement of different specialists at different stage, we are facing some main challenges uh, the first one is a drastic loss of IT employees due to the wage competition in the labor market. Number two is the budget limitations. Realizing this, we were given a task where we need to identify a limited number of projects. Taking into account, number one, we do not stop continuous support of regular IT services at the university. Number two, we develop and implement solutions that are low cost. Number three, we follow our approach. Guaranteed success, number one, number two, three months duration, and number three, beneficial for the university. Based on that, at the initial stage, we identified three projects for implementation. Number one is a unified database for laboratory equipment with the web interface. Number two is the unified database of software and licenses. And number three is the request tracking platform that can be used for different use and for different needs. Let's say, for example, procurement. Tracking our progress, knowing our new challenges, our project plans are subject to change. Due to the fact that we involve employees from different departments and schools, we have some effective ways to motivate our team members. Number one is encourage career progression by creating extra responsibilities for our employees so they can expand their experience and better prepare for a job promotion. Then we also provide opportunities for le learning and development and we show employees that we have confidence in them by assigning important projects. Number two is provide frequent clear communication. We try to communicate the goals and objectives of the project to our team members more often and answer their questions on a timely manner. The transformation program has four goals. Number one is we have to rededicate ourselves to a new mission and values. Number two, we have to promote bottom-up approach. Number three, we have to promote collective mindset. And number four is to create a system-wide transformation. All of these goals are important for university to be a model for higher education reform and modern research. From my perspective, transformation program creates a positive working environment and a good platform for employee feedback. So 
such as transformation sessions and workshops. Also, transformation as the initiative where many issues are resolved proactively without waiting someone to come with the request. And most importantly, transformation program creates a team atmosphere where everyone who is involved in the program feels like they are part of the team, it motivates them and they want to achieve their goals.